हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नूर नेटवर्क्स गाइस इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वेर वी हैव कॉन्फिगर्ड द रूल्स ओवर देयर इफ यू रिमेंबर वी है वी हैव कॉन्फिगर्ड इंटरनेट एक्सेस रूल ओवर देयर एंड वाइल वी हैव कॉन्फिगर्ड द रूल we have seen that due to the anti spoofing feature the traffic was getting blocked on the gateway so at that time i have said you that we will discuss the anti spoofing in the coming tutorial but over here we will be looking that how we will allow the internet access rule so over there if you remember we have configured the ip address on the interface we have done the static routing default route we have added through a cli we have created this internet access rule and of course we have done the netting also to allow the internet access thereafter also due to anti spoofing feature it was getting blocked so we have bypassed that by saying that only prevent it and do not detect if you do not remember i will take you again over there and i will show you once but before that before we proceed we, let's understand what is ip spoofing so just i will take you to the network design over here and i will explain you so guys if you define in simple word ip spoofing basically replaces the untrusted source ip address with a fake trusted one to hijack connection to your network so let's take an example for a time being just uh, forget that this is the connection okay and let's assume that this host laptop is somewhere outside your internet totally outside your internet and it is an unknown uh, identity uh, he uh, the host laptop the machine over here is the attacker's machine so basically what will happen the attacker whose purpose is to exploit your network will change his source ip address and try to show his identity with some trusted source let's say 10.1.1.100 now let's assume the person sitting outside uh, the attacker whose intention is not good is trying to access uh, the network that is web server when this particular attacker machine tries to reach till over here uh, to your wan interface Uh, the firewall will read the ip address uh, the source ip address and since the source ip address will be 10.1.1.100 which is the trustworthy ip which is the ip which firewall knows what firewall will do it will allow, and let's assume that this particular attacker machine has requested gaining the ip address 10.1.1.100 this machine has requested the access to dmz now when it comes to firewall what firewall will do firewall will say yes i have the rule definitely you will create a internal rule which will say that internal lan should be accessible uh, and uh, this internal machine should access the website uh, which is the web server 172.16.0.100 and you will have a rule over here so now when the traffic come over here firewall will check its source ip address and it will simply allow the access to web server once this attacker have the access so basically attacker will start to send a malware or uh, and bots to your protected network to execute dos attack or to gain unauthorized access so each and every firewall vendor has their own techniques to defend such attacks to de defend against this kind of fraudland activities now the question will come to your mind that how come uh this person will get the internal ip address and the details right so guys to carry out the ip spoofing basically the attackers need the following a trusted ip address as i told you and th there are numerous ways to find this ip address okay one way is shodan an online database of ip address to device mapping uh, and guys it is a very difficult job not an easy job to uh, make a spoofing attack but yes it is possible so the ability to intercept the packet and swap out the real ip header for the fraudulent one a network sniffing tool or an address resolution protocol arp scan can be used to intercept packet on a network and gather ip addresses to spoof so when it comes to checkpoint let's see how checkpoint will protect uh, such kind of attacks so definitely each and every as i told you each and every firewall vendor has their own techniques so what checkpoint will do let's say for example this is your ethernet 1 which has the wan ip addresses then you have this one ethernet 0 which has the lan interface ip is 10.1.1.0 and dmz also has its own ip scheme so in checkpoint 
एंटी स्पूफिंग डिटेक्ट इफ अ पैकेट विद एन आई पी एड्रेस दैट इज बिहाइंड अ सर्टन इंटरफेस अराइव फ्रॉम डिफरेंट इंटरफेस लेट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑन दिस इंटरफेस इफ इफ आई पी रिक्वेस्ट अराइव फ्रॉम सम डिफरेंट इंटरफेस लेट्स ए टेन डॉट वन डॉट वन डॉट टू हंड्रेड सो इन इन दिस केस वॉट चेक पॉइंट विल डू इट विल ड्रॉप द पैकेट एंटी स्पूफिंग विल ब्लॉक दैट पैकेट सो दिस इज हाउ द एंटी स्पूफिंग विल वर्क इन चेक पॉइंट सो फॉर दैट रीजन वी हैव टू शो दैट दैट इथरनेट जीरो दिस पर्टिकुलर एड्रेस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम इथरनेट जीरो दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम इथरनेट टू और द अल्टरनेटिव मैटर ऑल्सो इज दैट वी विल चेक वन बाय वन गोइंग टू द चेक पॉइंट फायर वॉल सो लेट मी गेव यू सम एग्जाम्पल सो ऑल द पैकेट कमिंग टू इथरनेट जीरो फ्रॉम दिस आई पी एड्रेसेस एंटी स्पोर्सिंग फीचर विल मेक श्योर दैट यस दिस आई पी एड्रेसेस आर कमिंग फ्रॉम इथरनेट जीरो सिमिलरली फ्रॉम इथरनेट टू दिस आई पी एड्रेस द रेंज ऑफ आई पी एड्रेसेज आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस नेटवर्क एंड सिमिलरली फॉर इथरनेट वन नाउ लेट्स मूव टू चेक पॉइंट स्मार्ट कंसोल and guys i believe that i have made clear about the anti spoofing concept i mean what is spoofing and how anti spoofing work in checkpoint if still you have any questions you are free to ask me in the uh, in the comment box and i will reply so how you will pre uh, prevent this the configuration which we have done in our earlier tutorial is not a recommended practice let's go to gateways and servers over here and double click on checkpoint gateway going to network management just edit this internet one interface click on modify setting over here and now if you remember we have changed the setting from prevent to detect which is not recommended see if you turn off the uh, anti spoofing feature now you are aware that why anti spoofing is necessary if you do so that if you disable the anti spoofing feature you will be prone to attack now if you say that detect only in that case uh, sorry yeah detect only in that case uh, it will detect and give you alert but it won't prevent the spoofing attack so again you are adding a kind of risk so the best approach if you will find over here for very first thing it is saying this internal network internal right but Uh, if you remember this is wan interface and we have a ip uh, address with the network 192.168.0.0 right so if the interface ip address is 192.168.0.0 and the traffic comes from 10.1.1.0 definitely it is going to block the anti spoofing feature will come into existence click on override over here and then say that this is an internet external interface and you click okay your things will work additionally you have a option also like uh, you can say that if you will see over here network defined by interface ip and net pass if you uh, choose this again you uh, your rule will not work then you have a option network defined by routes if you have a dynamic routes working over here so in that case like uh, bgp osp everything is working dynamic routing protocols are working in that case you can select network defined by routes or else even you can specify by just click on specify and you can create a group for anti spoofing and straight away this uh, all, what all network you are uh, allowing over here that all network will be allowed and the spoofing will not anti spoofing feature will not come into existence for that particular network but the best approach straight and simple is just say that override and then click on internet that is external interface and once you do this your uh, rule which you have configured for the internet access will work perfectly so guys we what we did we have changed it from detect to prevent because detect is not a recommended practice originally it was prevent we will keep it prevent only the change we, we have done is we have click on override and then we have chosen internet external over here click okay 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 and once this is done install the policy click on install we'll wait till the 
policy is installed successfully and then thereafter we will be testing the rule i mean we will just try to browse the internet and we will see if it the setting is working perfectly so now what we have done in short we have kept the anti spoofing feature enable it will prevent and detect if it founds any spoofing packet but we have configured as per the recommended practice and guys why we haven't taken this topic in our earlier tutorial is because that was purely a tutorial on creating a policies netting static route so i thought that we will take this as a different topic now the policy is installed successfully let's try to browse over here and we will check it should work now let's try to browse google.com and you can see that the website is reachable even though the anti spam feature is enabled and it is kept on prevent and log so guys that's all about the anti spoofing if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial